Hello, Plymouth Luke Pollard here, your Member of Parliament. I'm down on the Barbican at Commercial Wharf, just uh, just near Mayflower Steps, where there's an amazing piece of archaeology going on as part of some emergency repairs to the quayside. I've got Martin Reed, who's one of the marine archaeologists at Plymouth University, who's leading some of the, the archaeology work here. Martin, we've got, we're next to a big hole yeah. with lots of concrete in and mud. But this is an important site. Can you explain what's going on? OK, so there are two things that are important here. This whole area from Mayflower Steps down to Elphinstone and Fisher's Nose was the Vitlin Yard for Plymouth before the Royal William Yard was built. So my research shows that the Commonwealth Navy in 1654 um, was using Plymouth and needed to supply their fleet and they had no base here so they built Phoenix Wharf in 1654 and that gradually extended to cover this area so this had a warehouse uh, built in 1668 that would have been used in the Vitlin Yard and the Vitlin Yard closed in 1830 and moved to the Royal William Yard um, but this site itself was already here the wharf was built sometime between 15 1650 and 1660 with these enormous key um, stones uh, used in the walls um, but behind it uh, they reclaimed using any old rubbish so it contains the rubbish of the town and that is telling us about life in the town in the mid 17th century and it's a story revolving around fish um, so fishermen would go to Newfoundland and then they would sell their fish in Iberia and the Mediterranean and bring back fine tablewares to Plymouth. And uh, it's been broken and thrown in as rubbish behind here. But it tells us a story of that life in Plymouth in the 17th century. Fantastic. You can see this work taking place on the Barbican if you peer over uh, just by Commercial Wharf. It will be done over the next few months that will restore the quayside to stop it slipping into the sea. But it's an incredible piece of Plymouth history. Thanks so much, Plymouth. See you soon.